back up so I can get him in his full glory and his hat. My head. The sad part is it still fits. And you'll have your other hat on still. Yeah, it makes it easier. It still fits on my head though. Oh my god. Now we got Ashley here in Mexico trying out the hats around the world. And you got your nice sombrero. It's pretty huge. Jeez. All right, on to the next country. So here's Norway. Alex in his Norway hat. Yeah, it's about the only hair I'm ever gonna have for the rest of my life. Perfect. So, and here's Ashley. Of course, she didn't want to take the ones up with the braids, so. I think these are our hats out of Norway. Let's go to the next country. Can you guys get it? Yes, you, you wanted to get it last time we were here, remember? I can cover my hair. That'd be easier. Then you can cover my bald spot. Hmm. Yeah. So here we have Ashley here in China. How do you like your hat? That's great. Would you like a nice umbrella to go with it? I mean, I would like the umbrellas. <laughs> you would like the umbrellas instead? I would genuinely like the umbrellas. All right, on to the next country. All right. I feel, I feel like I'm ready to go to Animal Kingdom now. I feel like Crocodile Dundee right now. So we're in the African Outpost here at Epcot. At the refreshment post. And Ashley, your turn. All right, Ashley, how do you feel? I, don't I feel know. like you're pretty well covered. Your head is pretty well covered. What does it say? Mickey's um, Surf Shop. There's a wave. All right. We saw it. We so try it we're on. now leaving the African Outpost. Here are your it's hats over here. Refreshment post. Refreshment post. And next country. Look at Alex. Does he even say what it is? In his little hat. Here in Germany. And I guess these are the hats are Germany. Oh. As you still have your other hat on. Europe. Ashley, with her perfect. German hat, does not fit you very well, but that's okay. Found the perfect hat for Alex. <laughs> and the Show perfect hat. I even got a little feather. Yes. Do you want to show my hat? And yeah, we'll show yours. Oh, jeez. It even has beer on it, so I mean, I guess that's somewhat accurate for me. <laughs> the headband probably doesn't need it. And then we have Ashley's. Yours looks like a very nice festive German hat with the feather. We probably reversed the hats that we were supposed to have, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, on next one. My head. So, after one of y'all are in Italy, this is the only hats we found. Where's your hats? Where's your hats? All right, Ashley, you're in Italy. You're not gonna wear it all the way down your head. No. What, if you, what if your hair gets in your food? You're done. It was too tight for you. So we got chef hats out of Italy. Next country. So, we did not find a hat in America. They have multiple Mickey Mini Street Farms. But we found the keys. Really nice. It is beautiful. Very cute. So the Christmas tree in America is still up. Yeah. Oh, Mickey right there. oh yeah, Freddy. Zoom. And there's one with the blue, the blue one. Hidden Mickey there. Hidden Mickey. I wouldn't consider those hidden Mickeys. Well, they purposely put them in threes. And then if you look behind you, that's one I would. Because you couldn't find hot cats here. Also, they have artist tables. So they're all setting up for the Festival of the Arts festivals. starting January 17th to, to February 24th. 24th. So this is going to be changed over soon. We so find fun. hats. So Alex fans. is going to pose with a fan. Strike the pose. Lovely. As you mentioned, no hats, but there are plenty of fans. That's the work. You get the doggy face? It's like the dog emoji. It's a panda. Is it a panda? Well, it might be a dog. It's a dog. He's trying to keep it on his head. Should He's I keep doing the fez? an okay job. No. I think I should rock the fez. No. Not to work. It no. covers the bald spot. No. It even has Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer in it. All right, Ashley. So it's not for it sale, but I think I think you can rock off the feds. No. It matches your hair color. All right, feds over here in Morocco. Let's go to the next country. Wait, wait. Flare, fly on your head. It's supposed to be. Just... It covers the bald spot, so I mean I can rock it if I want to. It just feels really flat. I feel like I'm like 80. So Ashley, which color? They're both just so. What is the word? Fluorescent. It's like a little pastel. Pas pastel. It's right, not going to fit because I'm not taking off my bun. That's okay. All right. It looks nice. It looks a little cheap. Looks like something my grandma that could knit, but you know what? I mean, it doesn't feel like something your grandma knit. It's a beret. No, I'm just kidding. It is not something my grandma could knit, but it is a nice beret. And that's going to do it for France. So on to you guys. Mm -hmm. crown so, really. I struggled to find hats. So we found swords. They were hats. They were just golfing hats. So yeah. Nothing too fancy. Nothing out of the ordinary. But I found a pink coat. My Ashley turn. Was Side note: UK still has some of the Christmas decorations up as well. They have a nice little Christmas tree. And one of the windows. What do you got? 
not done yet. My family's done this for years. What, with your little sword and shield? Yeah. Oh, you got the manly of your choice. I like it. You happy with your selection? Yes, and I got the shield. All right, UK's done. Last but not least, Canada. And our final Still hat. Still covers my bald spot. It doesn't have the little things where you can pull it and something comes out. I would go with this one. It's gonna be coming handy this winter. Last but not least, Canada. Ashley found, what is this called, a flap hat? Mm -hmm. Flap hat in Canada. It's a pom pom. And you can use the, like, sometimes you can pull those, but those aren't. And they have the little pom poms. It's gonna wrap it up, I think. Over to the right, I've got a large dark brown animal with white stripes on his legs to the right. This animal is called an okapi. A lot of people think okapi are related to zebras, but they're not. Okapi are the forest cousin of the giraffe. Very shy and elusive okapi were not discovered by the Western world till about 1901. Unusually late for such a large animal. Baobab trees do remain leafless for about nine months out of the year. And during the rainy season, not only do they grow leaves, but they also produce a citrus tasting fruit. We're going to see a bit of movement on the savanna up ahead, including giraffe, wildebeest, springbok, and coley cattle. The bull is the solid brown one, the brown and white ones are all cows. Now those horns do for the cattle what a radiator does for a car. Those horns help to cool their blood down on hot days so that they don't overheat. Aww. So I got one of the mama giraffe with two of the babies over there. Only one of those is hers. One of the Ancoli cows over here to our right. They also go by the name Watusi, which is the name of the tribe that first domesticated the cattle over 6,000 years ago. You know, found in Africa. The spotted are the only social ones living in groups called clans. The other two species, the brown hyena and the striped hyena, are actually solitary. We've got another Ancoli cow over to our left, and I've got one of the mama giraffe coming up on our right. It's all over the place up here. <laughs> It's a giraffe. I mean, it's a wildebeest are part of one of the largest animal migrations left on Earth. When wildebeest migrate across the Serengeti, their herds will number in the tens of thousands. Tan antelope further back on the hill are Eland. Eland are Africa's largest antelope. The males can weigh about 2,000 pounds. One walking towards us is a baby. It's a little boy. He's about four and a half months old. It's going to take him two years to get fully grown. Okay, I got that baby giraffe on our right now. The name giraffe is actually Arabic in origin. Loosely translated to English, giraffe means one who walks with grace. At night, it's cooler, easier to sneak up on your food in the dark, plus they've got really good night vision. Thousand pounds. Now, black rhinos are known for being solitary. White rhinos are much more social. They live in herds called crashes. get you a nice view of these lions. Now it is true that the girl lions will do most of the hunting for the pride, but the male's main job is that of oh, protector. Not a lot of animals will mess around with a fully grown male lion. All right, so thanks so much for watching, guys. As you can tell, we were busy in Epcot this week. This was a bit of a well, mashup video. It was a little bit of a matchup, mash up video. So both in Epcot Animal Kingdom last weekend, we went on both the safari, and we also did a little bit of hats around the world. We heard about it. We figured it would be it, a cool it, thing. Well, I mean... We, we've seen some of these hats. Well, my family's been doing that for years. I can yeah. go back to 2001 and find pictures of us wearing the same hats. Yeah, but I would have never thought about that until I looked it up. So that's a cool cool thing to check out because they can see some hats. And if you really like them and they cover your bald spot just like mine, <laughs> maybe maybe you can even buy one too. I have, of course, <laughs> I didn't buy one that, that fitted that fit me I don't well know. Enough, you really like that China, hat in China. I should have got like, the tiny little German one to put on top. <laughs> No, no, that well, was um, hey, that covers, that covers, Fez. Yeah, I was going to say, the, uh, that, that hat in China <laughs> covers everything, so it doesn't even matter if I shave my head. I can just cover everything. I'm good. But, yeah, so as you can tell, we had some really cool animal encounters as well, so we, really, we do a little they bit They were so close to the... Yeah, so we had the rhino, and then we also had some of the water buck and other animals as well. The giraffe, yeah. especially, very close. The baby giraffe. Baby giraffe, yes. So, really cool experience in both... We figured we'd just mash them together because it was short, shorter videos yeah. on both. So that's why we kind of added them both together. 
Once again, if there's anything you'd like to see, please leave it in the suggestion. Please leave it as a suggestion below in the comment section. We are planning on going to Festival of the, the arts, arts on Saturday. So we'll be there on Saturday shooting so some content. So that'll be going up next week. Yes. All of it. Yes. Not all of it on the same day, but throughout the but week. We will be shooting some stuff and what you can find there, activities to do, and some of the food the and scavenger treats. scavenger hunt. The scavenger hunt as well. So we will be shooting that this coming weekend. Overall, great time. Yeah. We will be busy this weekend. Yes. We have a video coming up for you on Saturday as well, since we didn't have one up on Monday. So that'll be somewhere, just to give you a hint, in Disney Springs. We have an activity that we checked out, so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. So yeah, as I said, suggestions below. Leave them if you have anything. And thanks so much for watching. As always, I'm Alex. I'm Ashley. And this is Disney's Party, Party of Two. two.